Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a pretty cool effect using the Spark AR Studio. We're going to create a mask, we are going to combine 3D elements with other applications, and then we are going to export to the Facebook camera. All right, let's start. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you first the final result. This is the an animation that I create. And you see it looks pretty cool and then I'm gonna show you the different stuff, okay? To create this, what you have to do first, you have to design something in 3D, okay? For example, here I'm gonna show you I did these horns, okay, in a 3D software, okay? Uh, you can use many different software. I feel very comfortable with Strata Design. This software is not free. Um, if for trainers, okay, or students, is around forty-five dollars, okay. But I like because it's it's not difficult to create. Also, there is another one that is a Blender that you have a free um, Blender is free. You have a free version um, that you can use and it's great. But I think it's a little complicated. It comes with too many things. It's pretty powerful, but I prefer to use Strata. Another one you can use SketchUp, okay, it's a great software. There is a free version as well on um, SketchUp. And there are many other websites that you can investigate to create 3D elements, okay? I create this in, in Strata 3D and I'm gonna show you what is the idea. I'm gonna open this. And here you can see I have the 3D element. And how I did this, it's not that difficult on any software that you use, okay, if you search, for example, you can create an ellipse, okay, I'm gonna create one here on this part, I'm gonna hold on the shift to keep the proportion, and then I'm gonna select the selection tool, I'm gonna hold down my option key, and then all the alt, okay, on PC, and I'm gonna duplicate like this. Or you can copy paste as well, and then you can move on a different software, you will see different ways to duplicate that. And you can see, you can see that is over, Okay, and then what I'm planning to do, I'm gonna reduce the size with the third tool. I'm gonna reduce like this, a little the size, and maybe I'm gonna rotate, okay, with this rotation tool. I'm gonna rotate like this, and then I'm gonna move a little up. You see this process is not that difficult, and I'm gonna hold down the option again, and I'm gonna duplicate, okay? That is the idea, and the last one, of course, I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit, okay, like that. All right, and it's very common to find different options on, on this software. For example, there is one option here that they call skin tool, okay? With this one, I can click and drag that one and then click and drag to this one. And you see, it's pretty cool. It's not that difficult to create the things. You can start playing around and then you can export. For example, in this software, I can go to the file, export. Okay, and then I have different options here. For example, OBJ works very nice with the uh, Spark AR in, and Colada also on this file, okay, works as well. All right, I already export, okay, um, and, and here I have the different formats. I have this point OBJ, you can see it stands for object, okay. Also I have the Colada here that I can open, okay, and you can see is there. All right, that is the idea, okay. You can use this tool, but if you prefer to do not design something in 3D, one of the options that you have, you can go to different markets. For example, TurboSquid is pretty good, okay? You can search here, for example, let's say, I'm gonna search, um, let's say, mask, for example. Okay, I'm gonna return. And here you have different masks that you can use, okay? You have to pay, but if you go here to the price, you can select here free. Okay, and there are nine. Sometimes you can, if you search car instead nine, maybe you will see around 300 cars, okay? But here you have a few masks that maybe you can use for a Spark AR. The only thing you have to double check is not a big file, okay? And also double check the format is compatible. For example, this one is OBJ, okay? Another option that you have, okay, using a Spark AR, you have a connection with the Sketchfab, okay? And this is Sketchfab. From here, okay, I'm gonna select, for example, mask. I'm gonna search, okay? And here you have many different masks that I can use for my augmented reality project. It looks pretty cool, okay? But I like to create my own things, okay? And here, the last one is a Blender. From Blender, you can download this software and you can use for totally free, okay? All right, the other thing that I need, okay, if you see on the on the mask here, I have this 
pretty cool texture, okay? I use stock images, okay? I'm used from Envato Element, okay? Um, but um, if you don't wanna pay for an image or, and if you want the right to use that image, the license, okay? What I recommend you to investigate, for example, you can go here to the pixels, okay? Pixels.com, okay? And here, if I select, for example, fire, enter, you can see here, you see that fire on this one and the pretty cool part of pixel.com if you go to the license okay here you can see you can use any image here for commercial use for personal use for whatever you want okay and that is, is pretty straightforward okay all right the other thing that you need you have to create an icon okay and then i'm going to show you how you can create the icon i did this in adobe illustrator and the idea of the icon the icon will represent what you can do with the um, effect, okay? And then you have to export as a JPEG with a maximum 700 by 700, okay? From 200 to by 200 up to 700 by 700, okay? And it, suppose you have to export this icon, it's a square on a JPEG format, all right? That is the idea. And here is my project, okay? And the project that I finished. And I'm gonna show you all the step and click by click of how you can use this. I'm gonna open the Spark AR. Now I have the version 64 this version is beta in mid 2018 and i prefer to use this one because the version the official version in early 2019 is 63 but the interface looks a little different okay in order to be compatible with future version i'm going to use this one all right um this is the project you can see it's working here you have the um, the simulator Okay, and you can see what happened with the animation. All right, but how we can start this? First, let's create a new project. I'm gonna click on this light blue button. And here we have um, is my new project window. I'm gonna double click on this area to enlarge the interface. Also, you can click here on this little plus if you want to enlarge. And here I have more space for my project. Then I'm gonna import one asset. It's the horns that I have on my desktop. I'm gonna click and add assets and then import from computer. Then for my computers, I'm gonna use the Colada file. If you want, you can hit the space bar in order to be sure that is the correct file. I can hit the space bar in my Mac, okay? And then I can rotate this, just double check is the correct file. And then I'm gonna select open. And now you will see the points are here, and here, and this is the, the actual 3D element, okay? And here I have the material. As soon as you select the material here on the right, you can see all the different controls to modify that material. And we are going to do that, of course. All right, then what I had to do here on this area, I had to add a plane tracker, okay? I have to add a face tracker. I'm gonna select here from the add object, all right? And I'm gonna select face tracker is selected here and I'm gonna select insert. Okay, and now we have a face tracker over this guy. And then what you have to do, you have to select the point, okay? And if I drag to this area like this, you will see the points are there, okay? Maybe I'm gonna put in a better location, a little up, okay? If I hold on the command or the control on PC, you can click and drag to see what is the correct position for that. Maybe I'm gonna put a little more up, okay? Towards the camera a little bit, okay? And also with this, tool, what I can do, I can rotate. I'm gonna click and drag like this to see the correct position. I'm gonna select the red axis and I'm gonna rotate a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna move with this axis, okay, towards the camera a little bit. You can see here on the top right, I have the simulator that I can increase to put on the position that I want, something like this maybe. And then I'm gonna move down. Let's see if that is correct. And then I'm gonna drag the point inside the face tracker. And I see you drop, okay, and look at what happened. Now you can see the guys is with the point, with the horns is there, okay, and it's looking pretty well, okay? If you want to readjust the position, here I'm gonna select the pause, okay? As soon as you see something that is, is not correct, for example, I way the guy looked to, um, to the top, okay? Okay, it's almost there, okay. I'm gonna hit pause, and then what I can do, I can move down, okay, trying to adjust to the correct position, maybe a little there, maybe a little more to the right, something like that. And you can hit the play again to see how that looks like at the end, okay? And that is one thing. All right, then what I have to do, I'm gonna add another object, okay? And that object is going to be a um, 
face mesh, okay, from here. If you click there, okay, I'm gonna select insert, okay, and now you can see the face mesh. That is what I'm looking for. It looks, it's looking pretty good, okay, this part. And again, if you see it's not correct, the, the pointed horns, okay, you can pause on any time. For example, I'm gonna wait something that I don't like maybe. Maybe it's looking like this. Everything is looking okay now, but maybe there, okay? I would like to do one change. I'm gonna move a little up there. Oh, I, you have to double check, you select the, the correct element, okay? Uh, double check, you select the point, okay? And then I can move this one maybe a little more inside, almost touching the guy, okay? Then I'm gonna say play again, okay? Uh, yes, everything is looking good. That is what I'm looking for. All right, let's talk about the texture. I'm gonna select here the Chrome. This is the name of my texture because it was a Chrome on the design that I select, okay? And here on the top right on this control, the properties, I have the texture. First, you can change the color if you want. I can click there and I can select, for example, red. And you can see you have red there. But that is not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go back to, to black. I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna go to the texture here, okay? And here you can see all the images that you have. Also, you can import a texture from here. I'm gonna choose a file, and then I'm gonna select these flames, this fire that I have here. So like open, and now the texture is there, okay? But it's too dark. In that case, I'm gonna change the, the color to white, and now you can see the texture there. You can see it? And then I'm gonna click okay. But it's a little dark, okay? And what I would like to do is I would like to change the emission of light from the same element. I have to click on this check, okay? And then I have to select color. For example, look at if I select white. You can see it's too much, but if I move a gray, okay? You can see a little color, but it's not what I'm looking for. In that case, I can choose the same texture, okay? To map the same texture over there. And you can see now it's much better. And if you move this slider to the left, you can add more, okay, luminosity to those guys. As it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go all the way to the right to see white, and then you can see more light there, okay? In addition, the other thing that you can do here, okay, you can add the specular, okay? I'm gonna click there, okay? And you can see all those little lights that you can increase the smoothness, okay, to the right or to the left. Okay, you can add more specular depending on what you want. And also you can add the same texture if you want. But I'm gonna stop there. Then I'm gonna select here the face mesh. And the only thing that you have to do here, okay, I'm gonna select the correct texture. If you see here, I have materials and I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna select the same material. Look at what happened. All right, there is, okay, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, I believe I moved a little bit the mask. Okay, I'm gonna adapt on the correct position. Okay, if you see here, I have the position zero, zero, minus zero, zero, 002. I'm gonna go back to zero. Okay, now it's the, the correct position matching with the eyes because I make a mistake, I moved a little bit the mask. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And now in the following video, I'm gonna show you how you can export this and upload to the Facebook camera. Okay guys, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one, bye.